Hello, my reefing familia. March here, Frag Box TV. Thanks for tuning into this episode. What are we going to talk about today? Hmm. Let's see. I want to talk to you about a wall hammer that's not doing very well. So, if you're new to the channel and you don't know, this is a what are we? What do we call this? A reef store? A coral shop? Whatever we are, we specialize in selling saltwater corals. And from the beginning of the channel, I always said I'm going to show you the good and the bad because showing you the good is just the good is too easy. We have lots of nice corals. I can talk to you and show you happy and healthy corals like this. Crazy, crazy, oh, crazy. Mother nature, you're nuts. Crazy lady, look what she made. This open brain, beautiful. Acanthophilias, stunning. Plate corals, wow. Lots of nice adjectives to describe. Lots of nice corals. Unfortunately, not all of them are always so healthy. So if you're looking for a hammer coral, I can tell you first, first things first, don't ever buy one that looks like this. This is a very unhappy, unhealthy, depressed. Yeah, not good. Last limb, mm, it's close to the last limb. This is a wall hammer. So for hammer corals, we have two species, branching hammer, like this one over here, Euphilia paradivisa, I think is the Latin name. And then Euphilia ancora. Kind of like, I kind of think of it like an anchor. Euphilia is the, um, the first part of the Latin name, second part, Ancora. And it kind of looks like, uh, like an an anchor, the way it kind of it grows. Anyways, forget about the name. The point is, it's not doing terribly well. Why? I'm not 100% sure, because most of the LPS in this system are rocking right now. They're looking great. Happy, healthy, plump. So what we're going to do here, this is an example of Euphilia Ancora, this is how it should look. If you're ever looking to buy a hammer, don't ever, ever buy one. If you see um, skeleton on it like this, you're not gonna save it. Chances are you're not gonna save it. So what we do sometimes when a piece like this is damaged, we will offer it on sale at a save me price. Some people are able to save them. I personally would not try. Um, this is some pretty advanced tissue necrosis. Like I said, I'm not sure why it's dying. You have any ideas, Tia, why this hammer coral might be dying? We're gonna give it a frag in a second, see if we can save it. Because it's a wall variety? Bacteria. She's saying a wall variety. Maybe, yeah, bacterial. Some people think they are a little bit harder to keep than um, branching variety. So what we're gonna do with it today, like I said, sometimes we do save me prices. So we'll take a $100 piece, we'll throw it over here in a $10 section, but we're selling it with a disclaimer. So like, um, you know, if you see something here that should be 100 or 200, you know, it's on its last limb, it's 10 bucks, give it a shot. Um, some of our customers live for those pieces and have brought back some amazing corals. Here's an example of a save me price. This is a long tentacle plate coral that retails for about $150. It's not happy. It's basically, yeah, it's there. It's in the final, final moments of life. If somebody wants to try and save it, it's here for 20 bucks. If you offered me 10, I wouldn't say no. So plate corals like that one there, you can't frag it. You can frag hammer corals. I don't recommend fragging wall hammer, but we're, what we are going to do today is we're going to go against that recommendation. We're going to run this guy through the bandsaw and we're going to see if we can save e maybe even this section here. I'm going to give it a 10% shot of success. Usually this far gone. Maybe if I would have caught it sooner and fragged it over here, um, maybe a better shot at saving it. When they, uh, what am I saying? When heads die on branching hammer, like this one over here, usually the rest of the colony is just fine. So this guy, um, that would be really easy to cut off and then we still have a very healthy piece of branching hammer colony there. But anyways, enough rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then we're gonna report back. I'll give it a day or two and we'll see if we manage to save any of it. If we don't, I'm still gonna show you um, the good or the bad. So hold on tight and let's see what happens. All right, so it's been one day now. And let's look back and see how it's doing. Mm, not so good. Actually, probably worse. I'm gonna give the chance of this hammer coral surviving. Mm -hmm. 2%, 2%, 2.5%. This thing's basically done. Uh, we'll hold on, see if it bounces back. Maybe less than 2%, let's say 1%. Anyways, um, yeah, wanted to share that with you. Like I said, from the beginning of the channel, I'm gonna share the good, I'm gonna share the bad. I'm not sure why. It's not doing well, so hammer coral not doing well, what am I gonna look at? I'm gonna start testing the water. First thing I'm gonna look at is salinity. So I'm gonna go 